Okay friends, I am I am so I'm so excited to do this video for you and to do this whole series of videos for you. There's a mountain of things behind me and I'm getting ready to show you what those things are for. Got a couple different things going on. So, I got this wild idea. You know I do this, right? <laughs> you see what happened is I had this wild idea. I mean, as a creator like wouldn't we all like to be Mr. Beast in a different way, right? <laughs> okay, so he does these fantastic videos and it's just, it brings a whole lot of good. It helps a whole lot of people. And I was just thinking like, how could I be Mr. Beast mom? <laughs> okay, <laughs> or how could Mr. Beast mom help some people too? This is my joke, okay? I hope you're laughing with me. And I was getting some things ready for my own family's Christmas the other day. And I know in years past, uh, at Christmas time, I've, I've just, I've prayed and I've asked for the Lord to show me, like, are there some families we should help? Um, are there situations we should be aware of? Uh, what's the list? What does the thermal homeless shelter? I became aware that our local city here has one maybe two years ago. And since then, I look at their needs list and I see what they need. And so I've shared it a little bit in some videos, like when I go to Costco, different places, I'll keep my eye out for like the, the lemonade mix and um, medical gloves and just different things that I know that they need. And we just drop it off there. And I've never done a video about that. And there's been some years where I'll just see in a local Facebook group randomly, um, this particular family needs firewood and contact the family and then find out there's a lot of other things they need. And so then our family's been able to just join in and help this family through their situation. Those experiences, plus thinking, how could I do some fun Mr. Beast Mom stuff over here on my channel? And then the, the Jamarell brain sparklers started popping. And I'm like, okay, I could do a video for Open Doors. That's the name of the thermal homeless shelter. And right now I'm not looking at my list. I'll explain to you how that shelter works. But I was thinking I could do a video just shopping for them. I love to shop. You all like to watch shopping. Plus we get to give them a bunch of stuff. Let's do that. And then as I'm, I'm working through this other, just other organizations, other situations, other names. So I got a list in my head now of five or more, which brings me to, hello, welcome to our giving videos. Not exactly sure as of this filming, what I'm even calling this series, I'm taking proceeds for here from the YouTube channel, which by watching my videos and interacting with the content that I create, it helps this channel be profitable. And I thought I could take some of those proceeds, we're all involved here, and be a big blessing to other people. Something that I can do using my gifts, something that you can be a part of as being part of this community. So let's go help a bunch of people with a lot of stuff they need. Signed again, Mr. Beast Mom. <laughs> okay, I don't know that Jimmy knows this or yet. <laughs> okay, anyway, the thermal shelter in my local area. It's gentlemen ages 18 and over, it's basically winter, safe winter nighttime housing. So there's a certain time every day that they have to line up. The shelter that we'll learn more about here in this video, cause you're gonna shop with the stuff for me. I'm gonna show it to you in a haul. We're gonna deliver it, so keep watching for that. It's gonna be such a blessing to watch this video start to finish. So in the winter in our area, we have very cold nights and so they open up during a certain part of the year when i talk to them when we deliver everything we will have them give us the complete rundown i'm just giving you what i know right now okay um and whenever they go in the evening i believe they're able to take a shower of course they have a safe place to sleep i think they can also do some laundry and then local churches in our area provide the dinner meal now i remember several years ago before they had their their new permanent location it was uh several churches in our area actually housed them at night in the churches and the churches would have have their week that they would open their doors and they would I, I don't know if the guys took if they had like transportation for them I would think they would have to um, but anyway I just remember one church in particular we've been involved in they would have their weeks where they needed volunteers to do the meal to help with the bedding to help to help with all the needs so these gentlemen at night again 
their needs for the evening are provided for, they get a meal, they have a safe place to sleep. And then in the morning, before they go out for the day, it is my understanding that, of course, they have coffee and beverages available. They also, that's why we got so many like granola bars and snack bars, they send them out with some sort of breakfast food items. And then they are out for the day. And then they have to line up again in the afternoon to get their spot for that night. So I know last year, uh, several times and the year before, I saw their list going around on Facebook. And so, as I mentioned, I would shop for different things and we dropped them off. This is a bigger blessing scale. Um, I am gonna show you, it is gonna be a lot. However, just uh, an encouragement or a reminder, you have different organizations in your area you can always ask them for a needs list and it may be things as simple as you know we need disposable coffee cups we need powdered lemonade um, we're in real need of socks right now and so even if you don't get a whole couch full of items uh, maybe you could get 10 pairs of socks and all of that giving adds up big time. I had also asked about us providing a meal because obviously food, hello, I really wanted to get involved in the food angle. And for just the year that 2021 has been for me, I have not been able to be involved. So I asked about that. And so they have all their meals covered until February by local churches. But again, my hopes and dreams, one day I would love to be able, especially with some teens, to be able to go in and like help serve the, the meals and do cleanup and such. That's my, what are you going to do with your life, JMRL? Those are some of my future goals. Anyway, they don't need dinner right now. But what they need, she said that they have um, a just winter days here in Virginia. You know, we might have a 32 degree day. We might have an ice storm coming. Uh, we're going to have days where it might be 7 degrees. I mean, winter will amp up here. Even without snow, it can get very cold. She said when it gets those extreme cold days out of nowhere or there's a storm coming, they don't usually have time to let that need be known to other people who would give. So that's when they really could use like the pizza for the day to provide that extra meal because they would have the shelter open all day. So one of the things we're gonna do is I wanna go into Domino's Pizza and I wanna get them a handful of gift cards just so that they have those available so that need is already met whenever we have those extreme weather days. Okay, right now, watch me shop for all this stuff and then join me back for the haul and I'll show you each individual item. Then we're gonna load it in the van, we're gonna take it to the shelter, we're gonna unload it and they're gonna tell us some more about how they operate. Okay, so here is my email. I'm in Costco now. This is the email directly from the center called Open Doors, and this is a list they gave me of things they need right now, and they're not sure if it's gonna be, if these items will be donated or not. So these are the items we're gonna focus on first. So I'm here near the gloves. Warm gloves, adult size only. Let's go for that now. Okay, so now we are on the hunt for powdered drink mix. I think it's the next aisle over. There we go, lemonade will do. We'll see what else we can find also. So I'll get maybe five of these. Or how many is in a thing? Okay, we'll get a six, we'll get six. 39 plus gallon. So maybe I'll go with these uh, 50 gallon and maybe I'll get some 45 gallon ones too. Okay, they need hot and cold cups. So far, I've just found the cold ones. Okay, they did say paper towels. Okay, next up is disposable gloves. I got several different kinds here. Okay. 
Okay, yay. I looked through um, the other aisles and I saw these six things of coffee cups and it's perfect. I see no other coffee cups anywhere, but we needed them. So I'm glad we got them, yay. Checking my other list for socks and they do have those on there. Okay, so here's how our carts are looking outside of Costco. Now to load it all up, but then I have a list of things. You wanna get comforters and um, some particular pillows that they need at Walmart. So that will be our next stop for open doors. Alrighty, I'll load it up and now we will go put the carts back. Alrighty, so the shelter needs 15 new pillows, so that's what we're going to get here at Walmart. Okay, so there's a cart full of pillows and some more pillows. Wow, okay, so <laughs> looks like there was some kind of wild event at my house. So here is my mountain of pillows and covers. This is for the thermal shelter and also for my friend who has the outreach to women in some hard situations. So I will be breaking these down in different videos. Uh, also, <laughs> my new bags I got at Sam's Club yesterday. Uh-huh. Just trying to give you a peek behind the scenes at what this looks like before I organize it in a haul. Just lots of, lots of things and really crowded room. Okay, so now that we are back from all the shopping, I just got it. It's taken over the dining room, so let me give you an up close look at this then we're going to get those domino gift cards and deliver everything so they said they needed paper towels like i mentioned she sent me a list of things that were um in high demand right now things from other halls coming up okay okay um and so i focused on those first and then i filled in with other things on their general needs list so paper towels was something they said they were in desperate need for so I got four packs of that. Um, the breakfast bars, so this is actually something that was not on the immediate need list, just their general needs. They send the gentlemen out with different bars um, and just different breakfast foods. It could also be muffins and other things. I just went with these kind of um, pantry breakfast items. I'm not so sure about these. You can let me know if they're good or not. I mean, it says four hours of steady energy. Um, and there's 30 packs of four, so I got four cases, and we'll just see if that's something that they would like more of. I got the three cases of Nutrigrain bars. I got three cases of these fig bars. There's 36 twin packs. Again, I don't know how many they send them out with in the morning, but um, I got five. So it's a, with the 150 total, five of these boxes of 30 nut bars. And then back there, we have two boxes of the Nature Valley Crunchy Bars, and there's 49 pouches in each box. Um, so when I was done with everything on her, like we, if you're going to do anything, do these five things first. When I was done with that, 
I got these. Um, also was on their high needs list was trash bags. I believe they said, uh, I said 39 gallon or higher. So since I couldn't find the exact 39 gallon, I got them two boxes of the 45, three boxes of the 50. And then um, Lysol or any kind of disinfectant spray was on their list. So we got, this is a, just a box, a whole um, box from the shelf from the Lysol there. And then they really like this instant drink mix. Um, last time I got coffee and coffee stirrers is something they had in coffee cups. I didn't make it back to get coffee this time, but the, um, the powder drink mixes was on there. Please get us more of this list. And she said in general, just with the pandemic and the world being crazy, that donations are down. Um, so anyway, uh, this all they had was the lemonade. Um, sometimes they'll have different flavors. So I got a whole box of the lemonade. And then I found the, uh, she said they needed regular drinking cups and disposable coffee cups. So I had found the, the red party cups and I could not find coffee cups anywhere. And I just thought it was neat. It was like, thank you, Lord. I was maybe two aisles away and I turned my head and looked and I saw put in behind, I think it was beside this um, display of cups, there were five of these packs of the coffee cups. And there are a hundred, so 16 ounce, let's see how many. Okay, there's 80 in each with lids. And so we got the five that I saw. I just, I'm glad that that worked out because I thought, man, I wanna get those for them as well. And then something that is not on their regular donation list, they don't take bedding donations. However, they buy sp these specific fleece blankets and these pillows from Walmart. And so she gave me those links if I wanted to shop through those links or try to match them up at my Walmart. And that's what we did last night. The, um, the fleece blanket, any color twin size, I only got 10. I bought all they had of the twin, but I just went ahead and got the next size up was the queen and full size. So I got five of those and hopefully they can still use them. Um, and then with the pillows, they had, it was like a $3.44 pillow, but this is the same brand and same size. The only pillow they had the mainstays and the small or the queen is the allergy relief it was a few dollars more per pillow so hopefully that is okay but it was 15 new blankets and 15 new pillows she put on my list specifically that they're in need of now and then they needed um medical gloves and i got a little confused there when i was looking at the green box and the yellow box i could not see a difference in either of them they were both latex free powder free um just couldn't couldn't focus in so i went with the yellow box i got large um don't i don't know i'll ask i don't know if i should have got a sampling of small and medium as well um and then with the winter gloves i got a variety of like here's some medium I just was hoping, you know, okay, Lord, help me just grab what they need, right? And got, got some extra large. So I got a um, couple of the small, a couple of the medium, a couple of the large, a couple of the extra large, and hopefully they, they fill those needs there. And then with the socks, I got 10 five packs. So it's 50 pairs of socks total. Um, and these, yeah, outdoor crew socks, hopefully nice and warm. So this is a look at everything we got for open doors. And again, next stop will be gift cards at Domino's. So they have those and then dropping everything off. And hopefully um, we can learn a little bit more about the shelter. Just went into Domino's and I wanted to get $500 gift card for them to use when they have to have their like emergency day shelter because of extreme weather situations. I'm sure I explained that earlier in the video, but that's the reason for this. Um, so they couldn't do $500 on one card. They did five $100 cards. Tobin approves. I put the receipts for each card in there, and now we are gonna go meet the director of the center and drop all these goodies off. 
Okay, so I am here with Ashley Robinson. She is the director here at Open Doors. I've been saying in the video it's a thermal shelter. Right. So if you could tell us some more about what's involved, the service that you all provide. Sure. So we are currently um, Open Doors. We are a homeless low barrier shelter. What low barrier means is you have to be the age of 18 years old mm -hmm. um, in order to stay. Other than that, that's your only requirement. Um, I had not shared that. That's very yes. important. Yes. So, um, Barriers so can, come as you are. Yes, yes, that's right. Barriers can make it difficult to find shelter. Yeah. Um, so we try and have the least amount of barriers. We have been ongoing. We reopened again in July, which is a first for us. We used to only be thermal, okay. but now we are ongoing. So, so summer too. Yes, okay. summer too. You know, just because it gets warm doesn't mean that people aren't homeless right, anymore. Exactly. So we do provide that um, space for them. So we open at 6.30 p.m. in the evening. We allow guests to come in and then we feed them. Usually we have folks who who, like it could be a civic group it could be a church group they provide the meal and then um, they have a place to sleep they have a warm bed to sleep in and then in the morning they leave at 7 a.m. and then they're allowed to return again later that night okay and then I had shared that you all try to send them with something in the morning like coffee or breakfast so bars we do or send breakfast if you have it it's yeah. usually a grab-and-go breakfast okay. just because that makes it a little easier in the morning we got a lot of bars yeah. <laughs> yeah okay wonderful how many homeless people do we have in our area approximately well, I can just share with you that in our shelter, we have a capacity of 60, okay. um, and we have reached capacity already. So okay. I can say for sure that for we have, sure we have that. Yes, so any, any town or community. So if you all would like to help, is it opendoors.org? Yes, it's valleyopendoors.org. Okay, and I will link that down in the description below and pin it in the comments. So let's see what we got. Thank you. So we are loading up carts to get things in. Okay, that cart's almost done. Wow, guys. Yeah, I can carry the gloves into them. I'll get some cups. And here's just a, a look at what the inside of the facility looks like. Yeah, that's the okay. The, the pillows, I think. All right. Okay, Liam's got this last cart full. Good thing they're wrapped in plastic. Okay, so here's the goodbye things. Be well loved, be well used. Okay, so we're parking real quick so I can nurse Tobin because he's been fussing. Got everything in there. Um, just some more that we learned about it. They actually do have a spot for women now. And hold on. No, you can't unbuckle. Hold on. Anyway, I got to go mom now, but I'll be back. Well, friends, thank you for shopping for Open Doors with me. Thank you for watching this channel and watching the sponsored video content and for being a part of everything that we are doing over here online. It was a real blessing to be able to shop for Open Doors and to see their center, to learn a little bit more about them. I don't know if I told you this earlier in the video. Um, I think I may have said it was a facility for 130. I found out it's a facility for 60. They told me uh, right now, for example, they have about 45 men that come at night. And they also have a part of the center now for ladies. They have about 15 ladies who come. So they are meeting the needs of both men and women in our area. Also, I learned, see, as of last year, they were still uh, a thermal, sh thermal shelter that only opened in winter, but she shared with us yesterday that now they've been open since July. I believe that means they'll be open year-round now, so we'll be checking in with them more often to see if we can get a list of things that they need and shop for them and be a blessing for them. If you are interested in learning more about Open Doors, their link is down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Also, be sure to check out the other big blessing giving videos that I am doing in the series. Again, it's a blessing to me to be able to be a part of this and help some other folks. And I hope it's a blessing to you to have a part of this and to watch these videos as well. So I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye-bye.